I'm Rob Lucuri, a senior editor at Gold Derby here with Daniel Ranieri, who plays young JR in The Tender Bar. You know what, Daniel? This is like a fairy tale for me. When I look at what's happened to you, you're so young, and this is your first ever role in a film. And it's a film directed by George Clooney, starring Ben Affleck and a bunch of other amazing actors. Was it true that you were discovered in a viral YouTube video? Yes. My mom filmed me cursing about the lockdown and <laughs> she sent it to a couple of her friends and it went viral. A couple months later, she gets a call from Jimmy Kimmel's assistant because I was on a comedian's Instagram. She gets a call from Jimmy Kimmel's assistant saying that Jimmy Kimmel wanted me on his show that night. So me and my mom were getting ready. We got, went on the interview and then as soon as we got done with the interview, George Clooney's casting director, Rachel Tenner, called my mom and said that George wanted me in his next movie. And I was like, wait, I was just on Jimmy Kimmel. Now I'm, I might have the chance to be in a George Clooney movie. What is going on today? Like, I, it, was, it was great. I can't believe it. Like, it's such an amazing story. They should make a movie about this. Cause like, this never happens. Were you pinching yourself? Like, were you like, are you, are you telling me the truth? Like, is this real? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, wait, am I in a dream? I was like shaking my head. I was like, am I in a dream? What's going on? Yeah. And what was your mom saying? Was she just like, she must have been thrilled. Yeah, she was shocked. She was so excited for me. She was so happy of me. And me and her loved that I got the chance to be in a movie with George Clooney and Ben Affleck. Absolutely. And, you know, for most people, their first few movies are small little independent films that, you know, perhaps maybe don't have a very large audience. You're going straight in to the tender bar with Ben Affleck starring George Clooney. So I'm wondering, with such little experience as an actor, can you take us back to your first day on set? What was that like? I was kind of nervous filming a movie with George Clooney and Ben Affleck. So I was kind of nervous. The first scene, I kind of ached a little bit. But after I got done with the first scene, I was like, oh, this is so easy. And for the rest of the two months filming, I wasn't nervous at all. We just filmed the scenes and I had a great time. I had so much fun with the actors and George and it was just amazing. And so, um was it, did you have very long hours or were they very conscious about giving how young you were to kind of make sure that you had a nice balance? We're conscious about it. I think I could only work like six or five hours, but um, I also had to juggle school and I had to do three hours of school a day. So that was pretty difficult doing that. Yeah. Were you, I mean, what was it like physically? Were you tired emotionally? Like what was the end of the day like for you? Would, you? would you just go straight to bed and just kind of conk out? Um, no, not really. I got a lot of energy, so I didn't really go straight to bed. I went on my phone a little bit. I had my Xbox with me, so I played Xbox. And then I finally went to bed because I knew I had to film the next <laughs> It's so true. It's like, that's what happens with my son. I'm like, you need to go to bed, man. And he's like, I'm not tired. And then the next day I'm like, you have to get up. And he's like, oh, I'm tired. Like, well, if you had gone to bed early, you would have been fine. So I'm sure you're going through the same thing. <laughs> so, you know, this film, um, I didn't know much about J.R. Moringa, the, the, the man who wrote the memoir that this film's based on. Um, it recounts his life growing up on Long Island. Um, given that you play him as a young boy, um, I'm assuming you're a New Yorker. Um, are you Brooklyn born and bred? Yes. Yes, yeah. I thought so. I could, I could tell from your accent. Um, so did that play any part in how you were going to play JR and how you were inspired to kind of had it to, to make him feel real? I, it did because I had the kind of like the, uh, accent in the movie as JR Moringer and, also, like as George said, in, you have to be yourself. You have to act like it's a conversation. Just be yourself. There's only one person of you. Just be yourself. Yeah, that really helps. You know, that's half the battle. If you can, if you just relax and be yourself, you know, 
then we feel like we can believe in the character. Um, I was actually wondering if you can think of a funny situation on set where, you know, who was the funniest co-star and can you tell us a funny story working with them? Uh, probably George Clooney. He was, he was such a prankster. He was so funny. And well, actually in one of the sets, in one of the scenes on set, me and him were like fa uh, fake punching each other. And <laughs> boom, and he went, oh, like that. And we were fake, he punched me and it was, it was, it was great. That was, that was fun. Yeah, he, he seems like a really nice guy and that helps a lot. I also really enjoyed your uh, scenes with both Ben Affleck and Lily Ray. Lily Ray plays your mom, Ben Affleck plays your uncle. Um, what can you say about both of them that you most appreciated or most valued um, as co-stars and also as people that you felt comfortable with? Um, probably when uh, Lily Rob, uh, Lily Rob helped me a lot. One scene, we were, had to make peanut butter and jelly, and I messed up a couple of times. She's like, what's the matter with you? You don't know how to make a peanut butter and jelly? And she was like, kind of helping me, and I was like, okay, thank you. And then Ben Affleck was just great. I loved him so much. And now I actually have his phone number, so me and him text each other. And on set, he was like a, a set dad, and he was just great. He helped me with a lot of stuff. Me and him had so much fun filming the scenes, even like emotional scenes. We had fun, and it was just great filming scenes with all the actors in the movie. Yeah, that's wonderful. It's so good that you've had such a positive experience. Um, so I'm also wondering, what was the key for you Apart from being yourself, because that's really important as at the beginning, but what else was key for you to get inside JR's head and understand who he was as a kid so that you could play him like in a real and believable way? Um probably that I'm always at my grandfather's house. I eat dinner there. I'm always there. I'm always hanging out with them. And um, I'm always with my grandfather. I'm always with my grandma. And also kind of like the accent too, kind of, I don't know, something. And, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And, is good. and me and my, my mom and dad weren't, weren't together in the, uh, during the set. So yeah, it was also kind of like what was in the movie when, cause, uh, J.R. Moringer's mom and dad were separated, so. Right, yes, that's a good point. Yeah, and so that you were kind of using that emotion to kind of play the character, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you mentioned earlier that your first day on set, you were quite nervous, um, which is, you know, to be expected. I mean, of course, anyone would be nervous, but I'm curious what, how do you deal with nerves when you're meeting famous actors and filmmakers, particularly and when you're shooting, you're under all this pressure, the lights are on, the camera's on. How do you deal with nerves? You got to just pretend like it's your, it's your friends or it's your family. And there's pretend like there's no cameras, there's no lights and don't look directly at the camera because then you'll get nervous because you know there's a camera there. So you just have to pretend like it's a real conversation don't look at the camera or else you get nervous and pretend like nothing's there. It's just you and the actor and pretend like the actor is just a normal person. Yeah, that's really good advice. Because, I mean, <laughs> I would be very nervous if it was me and I'm, you know, way, way, way older than you are. Um, similar question. The film was done, a, uh, shot a while ago. Then, of course, it takes a while in post-production. And then, of course, it comes out and then the actors and the crew do uh, media and you're on red carpets and you're doing photo shoots and you're talking to people like me about the film. What's that like? Do you find that bizarre, interesting? What's your thoughts on dealing with media and publicizing your film? I really liked it. And I felt like it was very interesting seeing like what they do on the red carpet. There's like a hundred cameras. There, uh, there's also interviewers. And it's also like kind of like Sometimes in the tender bar in Los Angeles, the premiere, it was a small little red carpet area. And they had like a hundred cameras and like 10 interviewing people. 
I was yeah. just crazy. it's crazy how much it like it goes into a movie. It's crazy. I know, right? It is insane the amount of cameras that you see on a red carpet. I yeah, I'll never get used to that as well. Um, so my final question, Daniel, is now that you've been in a big film and you know people are starting to recognize who you are, what's next for you? Have you got any roles coming up? Are you still thinking about what you're going to do next? Yes, I've uh, got a couple of roles coming up. I'm hoping I get them because I want to uh, extend my career of acting and I want to actually film more um, movies because the first movie, The Tender Bar, it was very fun on the set. So I want more of that. And I want to um, interact with like actors and I want to film more, even though some people get a, very nervous. I first for the first time I ever filmed, I was nervous, but now I'm not. I want to do it wet like a hundred times.